Hi everyone and welcome at our course, uh, The Shoulder Theory and Practice. Today I'm standing next to uh, Jeremy Lewis. He's an absolute world authority in any research uh, shoulder related and he's also teaching uh, courses around the world. So we're really happy that he is here today in Leuven. How do you like teaching in Leuven, Jeremy? And what do you think about the location here? Um, the location is brilliant. The organization was fantastic. So I really would like to say thank you to Smart um, Education for organizing everything at this really difficult time in uh, traveling, but everything was done perfectly, looking after um, uh, everybody's health. Uh, and it's such a beautiful city. And there was snow yesterday. I haven't seen snow yeah. for ages. It was really, really lovely. Um, yeah, so it's been great. I've really enjoyed teaching here. That's great. So the shoulder is a really fascinating region and there's lots of research literature being published. You're also really invested in research yourself, of course. Is there anything that you're working on right now or anything that's in the pipeline? Um, what can we expect on the research uh, side? So I think um, we've, we've understood for many years that it's really difficult to make a differential diagnosis, a structural diagnosis, whether you're a physio or an orthopedic surgeon. And I think a lot of the research is also showing us that a lot of the elective orthopedic surgery is, is really not performing more than placebo surgery. And also that when we look at elective orthopedic surgery for non-traumatic presentations, um, when we're comparing the surgery to surgery and rehabilitation to just rehabilitation, what we've learned is that there's really no difference. And 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 in my way of thinking, that uh, surgery should only be even considered after at least 12 weeks of non-surgical rehabilitation. It is safer for people. It is providing more sustainable health care. Um, and I, I really do think this could be a very golden time for physiotherapists and rehabilitation. And, and obviously, um, we all have to work together with that. So I think that is known. I think what is important now is to try and work out how best to provide the best rehabilitation and how do we incorporate important lifestyle changes as well. So what I've been teaching in the course here um, um, is looking at how do, we, how do we understand the impact that lifestyle can have on, on shoulder problems and how can we address that in our rehabilitation, but also looking at a specific rehabilitation program that I call Shape Up My Shoulder that we're currently starting to investigate. We've just submitted a randomized control trial. And some of the other research that we've found is that there's been this belief that in order to improve from a shoulder problem, that you have to increase your strength. And one of the things that we've discovered is that that's not correct, that you don't have to get stronger to have a reduction in symptoms. And so Shape Up My Shoulder incorporates a lot of different um, features of rehabilitation. Um, and, um, yeah, it's been, it's been great to, to present it, and I hope the participants are enjoying it. Okay, great. You're also working on a book. You're writing a book. What can we expect in that one? When is it coming out? Okay, so, so one of my um, COVID projects was to um, put together something I've wanted to do for a long time, and that was writing a book on the shoulder. It, it's not really my book. It was a collaboration of uh, around about 100 people from around the world sharing their knowledge. Um, but what the book identified was that there's a lot of areas we still don't understand. And I hope in future editions of the book that um, – will have filled in, people who are doing research on the shoulder and clinicians will have filled in some of the gaps that we still don't know. So I hope we'll gain more knowledge um, with as the, as the book progresses into the future. Okay, great. We're also really looking forward, forward to welcome you again in September here. There's another edition of your course um, on the agenda. What if there's someone watching this video right now, what would be like one main reason for them to don't miss out on that one. What would you say the main reason would be? Okay, well, there's lots of great people teaching lots of shoulder courses, and I'm only one person of many who's teaching shoulder courses, and I would recommend you go to different people's courses to get different perspectives. Um, my philosophy in this course is that we are not able to fix people, whether we're surgeons or whether we're physiotherapists, we're not capable of fixing people. And what we need to try and do is to establish ways through behavioral change and looking at all the, the research that's available to try and 
improve a patient's quality of life and function to get the very best they can out of their life. And, and so a big philosophy in this particular course is we're not fixing, but we're trying to look at um, persistent shoulder problems, maybe in the same way as we look at other persistent problems, such as diabetes. We don't cure diabetes. What we try and do is bring the blood sugars to a level that we consider normal. And we do that in a variety of ways, looking at nutrition, sleep, exercise. Um, um, and then what's necessary then is to try and perpetuate that for the rest of the person's life. And, and I think we should be aligning persistent musculoskeletal problems in the same way. And, and that's really the function of this course. Plus having a lot of fun, laughing, sharing ideas with each other, um, trying to do new exercises. Um, yeah, that's really what it's about. Okay, great. I think the participants are having fun for sure. I hope so. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Enjoy your lunch. I will. And good luck in this afternoon for the rest thank of your you, course. Thank, thank you. Very much. Bye. Bye.